Time for another unboxing. Welcome to the third installment of Amazon Tech Unboxing. Could have actually been the fourth, because I will admit I did get another package earlier this week with a few things in it. I talked about them um, in my what's in my camera bag video and on Twitter after I got them. So I just kind of wanted to mention them before we unbox this. The first thing I picked up was the Manfrotto mini tripod. I talked about this on Twitter. It actually is amazing. I was kind of doubting how well uh, one of these would work for, you know, $25, $30, but it's awesome. The legs give it quite a wide base. So even a DSLR like this Canon 80D can be very sturdy. And the locking mechanism on the ball head is insane. Like how sturdy it is. This is gonna be part of an upcoming video on a budget vlogging setup. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that because this thing works great with a DSLR or even a phone. It's high quality, it's constructed well, very nice pickup. The next thing I picked up isn't quite as interesting. It's this metal step down ring or step up. I never can tell. If you watch my previous installment of Amazon Tech Unboxing, you'll know that I picked up the Nifty 50, which uses a 49 millimeter filter thread, which no one makes and nobody buys. And I don't wanna buy a filter that's 49 millimeters when I already have a perfectly good one that's 67. So I picked up this ring. So as you might expect, it just screws into place on the Nifty 50. Then if I grab my ND filter, screws right into place. And there is the ND filter on the Nifty 50. So you just kind of make sure it's pretty tight before you use the ND filter. But this makes a lot of sense for a couple of reasons. Well, actually one main reason is the Nifty 50 has an f1.8 aperture. So it's the lens I would most need an ND filter for if I was shooting outdoors. So that is a solid pickup. Not very interesting, but definitely an important one. Now let's move on to this box. There's another two items in here, which are pretty interesting. Now I've lost my unboxing knife, so we're just gonna be using a pair of scissors. Uh, should have the same effect. I'll probably just use one, kind of like a knife, honestly. Okay. Two things in this box. Let's talk about number one, if I just move this off. Here is the first thing. This is a three-piece set of macro extension tubes. This is a weird one. Now, if you haven't heard of macro tubes before, I wouldn't blame you. I didn't know about these either till about an hour before I bought them, but uh, they're pretty cool. So I was doing some client work recently and the client wanted pictures of some pretty small objects, um, their machine shop. And anyway, the problem I was running into is the focusing distance of the three lenses that I have is pretty far. So it was hard to capture detail. And in the conditions we were shooting in, cropping in in post didn't look too amazing. So I wanted to be able to get macro shots. Macro lenses are usually pretty expensive. You can find all sorts of things on online about how to, you know, turn your lenses that you currently have into macro lenses. These are extension tubes. So what this does is if you pull off the cover, you can see it's a standard EF mount for this EF mount Canon 80D. And what this does is it just puts a huge air gap, if you can see through, huge air gap between the lens and the sensor. Because there's no optics in here, you can vastly decrease the minimum focusing distance of the lens, therefore allowing you to get some really good macro shots. And there's two things I like about macro extension tubes. One, there's no optics. So even if you have really nice lenses, this is not gonna be hurting your sharpness or anything like that. One of the main alternatives is a filter for the front of the lens that kind of looks like a magnifying glass. And if you get you know, a cheap one for like $30, 
Those optics can cr introduce chromatic aberration and other unwanted side effects. This, no optics. Then another great thing here is the metal contacts on the back and the front that allow the autofocus of your lens to still work. And this thing was like $28 Canadian. And the great part is it is adjustable. So you can take off different sections to kind of get your desired macro effect. Next up for that same work I am doing is this along with some air wrap. This is a photo tent. So what this is, is this for small items like watches, jewelry, anything like that. It's a little tent, so you can set it up and get nice white or multicolored backgrounds and, um, you know, kind of show off the product and easily be able to remove the background later in post. I first saw something like this in a Peter McKinnon video, which, you know, you might have seen before. And um, this was pretty cheap. It was $19 and something. And it comes, actually, this is a nice kind of drawstring bag here. That's uh, something to keep in mind. Photography light box, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uses micro USB cable to power the built-in LED lights because that is the thing with these macro tubes when you're using them there is a main drawback which is that you lose a lot of light but I've got the nifty 50 which is 1.8 aperture I've got LED lights in here I've got my um, studio lights which are actually packed away right now which is why the lighting looks a little different right now I'm just using a big window right over there Let's see if we can get this thing set up So there we go, the tent is set up and it's looking, it's looking pretty good. Um, I don't know, okay, there's the micro USB plug. And then there are also all of these backgrounds here. So let's see, we've got blue, we've got kind of a gray, black right here, red, yellow, and green. That is a lot of options, which, you know, is good to have because you know, white backgrounds kind of suck for photographing small objects, um, metal objects that is, because of all the reflectivity. Um, I wonder how you put one of these guys in. Let's see, is there any obvious way to do this? Yes, there is. So there's these two holes punched in the top, and then there's two little tabs at the back here that you can just kind of put them in. This is pretty intuitive and it's pretty easily collapsible for travel. So kind of a fan of that right now. So then you just kind of put the background in like so. That works out. Uh, let's plug in this uh, micro USB cable. I'll have to grab a power brick. I just realized this is a dual cable. So there's one USB, but then there's two micros at the end. All right, so I've just used my phone's power brick and an extension cable here. Let's see, uh, let's see how bright this is. So there's one micro there. Oh, it's on. And then there's another one back here. Okay, that is pretty bright. Yeah, that's kind of blowing out my frame, but that is solid blue right there. It kind of looks really washed out because the exposure is a little high on this shot, but yeah, those lights are bright. Now, I'm not sure how long they would last, but uh, we'll kind of see about that. So anyways, that is it for this third installment of Amazon Tech Unboxing. Got a couple of macro tubes, got a photography tent, Got the Manfrotto mini tripod, a little bit of a step down ring. Technically didn't unbox these two, but those are two new things that I've got on the program. So definitely be sure to stay tuned to the channel um, for more tech videos and tutorials like this. Uh, I do have a playlist for these unboxings now. So if you missed the last two, check out the playlist link in the description below. And uh, yeah, subscribe like I said, and follow me on Twitter at KyleGNew.